Hi everybody, I'm Dawn, welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me. So look behind me. It doesn't look that great, but it looks better than it has. I've started organizing. This is a garbage bag, I have to take it out. It is completely full of garbage and stuff I don't need anymore. And I've started working on organizing this a little bit. See the top, it looks a little better. It's, this is my lab. You know, I've got my cleaner right there because I was wiping stuff off and um, definitely have a little more or a lot more, a little lot. Marshall used to say when he was a little, little kid, he would like ask for like chocolate milk or something. He goes, can I have a little lot? <laughs> so anyway, I still have more work to do and I'll be doing that. So I need to get something though. Okay, so this is a get ready with me. Alan, you're gonna knock this over. Alan is right here. Come here, you wanna come here? Come on. Look at him. Look at this precious boy. Oh, he's so precious. He's so fluffy. I just, I love him. I love all the kitties. He and I have a special relationship though. Even when he was like real teeny tiny, and I would walk over to where they were like laying down with their mom, I would go over there and as soon as I speak, he would like struggle, w wiggle himself over to me. It was so cute. And now he sleeps, like I sleep a little sat up and then he sleeps on the top of my pillow because it's a thick pillow. And um, he will take, <laughs> Like I'll be laying like this and he'll reach down like this and put his, like he'll lay his head up here and put his paws. It's weird, he's, he's a little crazy. Now I need to go wash my hands. So no, I don't think my cat is nasty. It's just after you touch animals, you should clean your hands. It's a good habit to get into. I'm sorry, I got, I got some build up in my eyes, okay. So, I am working on a couple projects for my channel. Me and Eric are gonna be doing something on the channel really soon. And if you want to, you could check out Eric's channel, Eric's Guitar Corner. Um, should come right up if you search it. I'll try to remember to link it in the, you know, down below. But I'm just using this, um, this stuff right here, focus, focus. It's, I don't know, I just feel like it just, oh, brings the face to life if you don't want to do a full face, but you want to do a little bit of something. It corrects. Which is a nice thing about it. Now, I'm just gonna fix my eyeliner a little bit. So I'm really proud of myself for what I threw away. I threw away a lot of old makeup, palettes, things like that, that just, you know, that need to go. You know what I mean? Um, like palettes I've had for years that are like way expired and are really just sitting up there taking up space because I'm never gonna use them. And unfortunately, I threw away some palettes that were kind of new, but weren't very good after I used them, or things I'm just never gonna use, like things that were sent to me or whatever. So, you know. Oh no. Alan, Alan, 
What are you doing? What are you doing, my baby? So last night, like about three o'clock in the morning, Cleo, the mom cat, got on my bed and she never gets on my bed and comes up to me and starts rubbing against me and rubbing against my computer because yes, I was on the computer at three o'clock in the morning. And um, she wanted food in her bowl. There was food in her bowl, but she could see the bottom of it, so. The boys, um, Django and Alan, sleep with me every night, and Brian sleeps with me every night, but Cleo likes Eric's chair in the living room. So, and as soon as he gets up, like say he's sitting in his chair, as soon as he gets up to go to the bathroom or go to the kitchen or whatever, she jumps in his spot every time. And sometimes she'll just get on his lap and like try to nudge her way between the chair and him to try and just get him to go away, but he won't once he's in his chair. But yeah, so what you got? What did you get? I don't know where Chango is. He must be sleeping. He's he's a little lazier than Alan. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that, boo boo. Don't do that, babies. But I'm getting more and more excited every day because my Disney trip is coming up soon. And I've actually got four Disney trips planned in the next couple of months, so super excited about that can't wait um, and I'm sorry I just got distracted by something so I can't wait for that that's gonna be fun we uh, plan on going to Mickey's not so scary Mickey's very merry and uh, Jollywood nights so I'm not really that interested in Jollywood nights. I just like to go to Hollywood studios, uh, um, you know, on special events or after hour events because it's less crowded and I have a better chance of getting on Rise of the Resistance. Uh, if you have not experienced Rise of the Resistance and you are a Star Wars fan, you need to find a way to get to Hollywood studios at Disney World and ride Rise of the Resistance. I have a ride through video on my channel if you want to check it out I'll try to remember to put it in my about section but you know I will forget but it is it is very important to me if you are a Star Wars fan it is very important to me that you experience that ride maybe maybe my channel will get big enough one day that I could get Disney uh, like collaborate with Disney and give a trip away you know, a Dawn at Disney, Dawn at Disney vacation package or something. We'll see. I'll even talk to them. I'll, you know, that's a, that's a ways off. Uh, also, I wanted to talk to you about my goal. Um, it's not going to happen this year. It's not going to happen this month. So I have this, I, let me see if I could word this properly. So I love watching videos of Halloween Horror Nights and Eric picks on me every year because he's like, you love the scary stuff, you love working at the haunt, you love scary movies, you love scary books, you love scary everything, and you love Halloween, but you've never been to Halloween Horror Nights. And I said, that's correct. And he said, why? I'm like, because I don't like being startled. And he said, well, you should go because you make fun of all these people that go and get scared and stuff. And I'm like, yes, I do, because that's fun. <laughs> so then I said, you know what? When I get 10,000 subscribers, the year I get 10,000 subscribers, prov providing I hit that 10,000 subscriber mark by August 31st, I will go. I don't think I'm gonna hit that mark by August 31st this year. But if I hit that 10,000 mark at any point before August 31st of next year, I guess I'm going to Halloween Horror Nights. And um, 
I will vlog it for y'all because it will be ridiculous. I do not like to be startled. I don't like it. I, um, when I work at the haunt, sometimes I got to bring water to the characters and sometimes they try to scare me because they don't realize it's me. And, uh, and I go through the haunt backwards so they know it's someone that works at the haunt, but no one explains this to them and the actors and they can't figure it out. So can you please stop that, Alan? Alan, stop it. Okay. But anyway, I just wanted to gab. Just wanted to chit chat. Um, Ohio guy gave me some things to, uh, oscillate on some things to think about if you're watching Ohio guy thank you um giving me some ideas so <laughs> I have to think of that stuff but I'm not going to mention it right here until I decide what moves I'm gonna I don't even know why I'm talking about this I'm going to be showing you a, um, how, a, a wound tutorial. Halloween's coming up. You're going to have to learn how to do wounds. Most of you probably know how to do wounds, but I'm going to show you how to make a compound to make a wound that is good to photograph. It's uh, photographic more than functional. Uh, but if y'all are interested in some Halloween FX makeup stuff, let me know. Email me, leave it in the comments what you're interested in seeing. And if it's something I feel like I can do, I'll do it. I can do all kinds of wounds and stuff. I'm not good at really like beautiful, elaborate looks, but I, some of them I can pull off. It's just a matter of if I have the supplies or not. So just put your ideas in the comments or email me. You know my email, cuttingdawn333 at gmail.com. So anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to everyone later. Bye. Mm -hmm.